Hello, I'm Paul the Asset Nicholson and welcome to Fantasy Darts Matchups with Sporting Life. This is the first instalment and we're going to have a look at Michael van Gerwen, who has had a period of dominance within the PDC very recently, against Eric Bristow, who had a very long period of dominance in the 1980s. So I wonder who's going to win this one. So let's get into a prime Bristow from the early 80s. Now we could all almost talk about his first world championship being one of his best achievements and it certainly was but if you look a little bit further into the 80s around the 84 85 mark he's he's come through some very classic matches with the likes of keith deller in 1983 which hasn't been talked about that much <laughs> but 84 and 85 really were the two years for me where Eric won the world title and was severely dominant. He was the best player on the planet. And he may have been at other points of the 80s as well, but this was before the dart Titus kicked in. This was before the action got a little stuttery. And I think he was playing his best stuff in 84 and 85. Now, how would he fare against someone that we look at possibly 30 years into the future. If we look around 2014, we have someone called Michael Van Gerwen coming into a period of dominance for a period of about seven years. And of course, we have to look into the future where more of that is possible. I think it's interesting to see whether Michael has a similar period like what Eric had in the late 80s and early 90s. He's still considered the best player on the planet potentially and he will still make world finals, but will he get more world titles? You look at Eric Bristow, he made the world championship final in 1989, 1990, and 1991, but failed to get the job done. Will Michael get more than three? I think he probably will. But if you look at the dominant era of MVG between 2014 and towards the present day, where he's just been taken over by Gezi Price at world number one. You think about the complexities of his game and what he has brought against what Eric was doing in 84-85. There was a superior confidence of the two. They were both big scorers, highly effective on finishing and lovely at bullseye finishing as well. And great at closing the job out. That was the biggest point for me, looking at Eric and Michael Van Gerwen in their dominant periods. I think their ability to not just beat people, but to dominate them. I think that is a prime, prime thing. But as to who would win in this fantasy match, it's a really close call for me. I'd have to go for MVG, but only just because we have the evidence of Michael Van Gerwen hitting these huge averages, admittedly on very different boards with different technology. I think Eric would get very, very close to Michael, but ultimately, I think in that fantasy match, Michael Van Gerwen might just nick it.